definitely get a sports crowd in here, um, but we've definitely seen an uptick in business. Last Sunday was something out of the ordinary. Businesses in and around the arena district say they've seen an increase in customers since sports betting has become legal. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6 on NBC4. I'm Kyle Beachy. The managers of those bars and restaurants say not only is it an increase in sales, it's also bringing an increase in energy. NBC4's Anna Hoffman joining us down from the arena district to explain. Anna. Kyle, the general manager of Boston's bar and restaurant tells me last Sunday they saw about a 20% increase in sales and she credits a lot of that to Bengals and Browns fans, but also the sports bettors who were anxiously waiting to see if their bets hit. Natalie Tanner says she's expecting a similar scene tonight and tomorrow as the NFL playoffs kick off. Tanner thinks having legal sports gambling in Ohio will be great for business. They have an advantage of being at the location where they can get hockey fans and soccer fans and so much more, but she also says the last few weeks she's noticed a huge camaraderie with sports fans at the restaurant. She says people with similar bets or similar favorite teams are becoming friends and cheering on their parlays together. Everybody's super excited. I mean, whether it be, you know, obviously people are betting on their game, but I think it's just, it's excitement for even if you're not a Seahawks fan, you know, you could be rooting for the Seahawks. So it's, it's a very positive energy. Tanner thinks that betting will bring in huge crowds for the Super Bowl and also March Madness when those games come to Columbus. Tonight at 11, hear from another local business about their experiences with sports gambling so far. Local for you in the Arena District, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.